my stuff straightened out here on the desk and we'll get going. Uh, primarily what I use these LM386 mini amps for is um, when I first got into um, Pixie Kits, I found out very fast that the Pixie Kit has almost zero audio output unless you get that Pixie Kit up to at least 12 volts. And then even after you get the Pixie Kit up to 12 volts, you're hardly going to have any audio output at all. Um, you can you can get some audio output if you use a pair of very low impedance um, earbuds, okay? And those work pretty well because they, they have very low, um, you know, resistance of getting that audio out. So it works out pretty well. But this little kit here um, is an addition to your Pixie kit. So I'm going to check these. I'm going to check the uh, resistors out here first so I don't have to look up color codes. You would think after all these years, I would remember that color code, but I just can't. Something about uh, bad boys, you know, our young women, but Violet gave it willingly for gold and silver. You guys remember that? That's old school stuff. Yeah, bad boys are our young women, but Violet gives it willingly for silver and gold. That was that was taught to me way back in the 70s, or no, even yeah, no, in the 70s, in uh, electronics class. So, anyways, put these uh, two resistors in here. Get those out of the way first, and then I don't I don't need my uh, my component checker anymore because everything else is pretty well marked. And the only, the only drawback that I see, I don't know, maybe it's me getting old as the pads on the back of these PCB boards from uh, China. The uh, the soldering pads are so small, you gotta really, you really gotta watch it. Plus I use a shovel tip, so I, I get, I, I, I can't talk too much because I do use a shovel tip. I love the shovel tip, that's that is so nice. But you do bridge a lot of stuff here too. Anywho, let's get going. Let's put in these caps. Uh, might have to get my magnifying glass for this. Nope, there it is. Alright, where's the other one? Oh, there it is. Oh! Yeah, it's right there on the side. There it is. There we go. Alright. Put my little blue goo on there to hold it. As you notice, I'm I'm still using my my twisted um, solder. I haven't run out of it yet. All right, let's see. Cut these off. What are we gonna do next? I'll surprise you. Let's see. Ouch, that's sharp. Let's see, let's see, let's see. All right, I'll cut these up here. Comes in a <clears throat> strip of six. You just cut them down. You got three of them to put in. That's the uh, auxiliary um, DC input, and then you got two areas for speaker out. <clears throat> I love my blue goo. Uh, keeps everything nice and nice and tight. And plus it's a little bit of a heat sink too. Because sometimes I tend to keep my soldering iron on there too long. I want it to suck through to the other side of the board, but sometimes I can get quite a bit in there. Ah darn it. Solder bridge. Hang on, just give it a watch this. I'm gonna show you guys how to do the the uh, toss and well, the burn and toss to get rid of a, a solder bridge. You burn it and you toss it. Come on, heat up, whack. 
There you go. No more solder bridge. <laughs> oh, jeez. My electronics teacher taught me that back in the 70s. He goes, oh, you don't need no soldering wick. Just freaking give it a little heat up and toss it. Just don't hit your classmates. Oh, back in the 70s. How long ago was that? 50-something years? Oh, man. Ah, winter time here in Maine. My hands just crack so bad. I moisturize them and everything else, and nothing works. Not here in Maine. I love to work outside and get outside. Hang on, I got. I got to get another. All right, here it is. There we go. Just had to twist that up a little bit. Now, if you notice on this 3M, um, LM386 that I'm putting in now, uh, pin 6 is not soldered in. It's not needed. That's the believes to reset for the pin, and it's, it's not needed. Not just something this small. So anyways, um, I don't know if I told you guys, uh, this LM386 is part of my winter giveaway. So somewhere um, in this video, uh, there's going to be a couple of numbers pop up on the screen. So you send me a guess, put it in the comments down below what your guess is, what you think, and I'm thinking for a number. And if you guess right, I'm going to be sending this exact kit to you for free. Part of my winter 23-24 giveaway. Alright. I forgot there was one more here in the center. I'll pop that in. Yeah, I'll add the power in while I'm doing it. I see guys um, solder and they'll they'll put in like 20 components. And solder it. I like to do it just a couple at a time, take my time. And that's the other thing that I boast on my websites too is, you know, a lot of hams and ham radio guys saying, What are you selling all that crap on your website for? Hey, it, it keeps your hands in tone and everything for soldering. Um, as you just seen, I already did a solder bridge. Um, but yeah, it's got to, you got to keep your soldering skills up to par. Because stuff, you know, stuff gets more and more, um, like, uh, eventually you won't be able to get 60-40 um, um, solder. So, you got to learn how to use this new stuff. And you got to learn how to um, put in surface mount devices, not these through-hole stuff. So, you always got to keep on top of the game. Especially if you got an old rig that you want to, you know, replace the caps or something like that on. you got to... You got to keep your uh, soldering skills honed. Oh, man, did I just do another solder bridge? Let me see. Nope, I didn't. It's open. Alright, put the audio input jack in. If I can get it to fit in here, come on. Oh, it's a bent pin. Oh, yeah. All right. My cat's coming into view, I think. What are you doing, kitty kitty? Yeah, meow. 
You want to say hello to everybody? You want to say hello? Do you? you want to say hello? Meow. Yeah, right there. Snip the microphone. Meow. Yeah, I know it. I hear you. All right. I gotta pay attention here, kitty. All right, let's get these caps in here. Mm -hmm. I'll mention it again at um, at the end of the video about the giveaway in case somebody's uh, come into the video late I gotta give this stuff away because after I build it it just sits on my shelf and I could use another one of these audio amps be nice to have my field pack but I've already said I'm gonna give it away so I'm gonna give it away uh oh I forgot to put that LM 386 in there sometimes it's harder Oops, see that cat hair Misty, they're leaving cat hair all over the place. Look at that cat hair. There we go. I'll get it out of there at the end. Just FYI, if anybody's allergic to cats, don't bid on, I mean, uh, no, don't put a guess on this because you might have some cat hair coming in the mail. I'll get it off of there in a minute. Oh, see, I told you I was going to forget that LM386. Alright guys, I'm back with the little LM386 mini amplifier. Um, just a quick little note on these. The reason I got them in is primarily for PixieKits.com um, because I sell a lot of Pixie Kits. Um, that's a, a ham radio transceiver. Um, it's a little tiny kit. You guys should really check it out sometime. If you're if you're a ham radio operator or you want to be, this kit is this place right here is a nice place to get some really cheap kits to get your soldering skills honed and everything else while you're studying for your technician license anyways for you uh, new technicians out there this is a good little uh, pointer for you is the pixie kit lacks terribly on the audio output from the lm386 because the pixie starves that lm386 for audio output it uses all the power for other resources on the board and it really doesn't care too much about audio output so that's why I found this little kit from China uh, it's called the miniature 386 and it works out really well with the pixie kit um, just from the audio out from the pixie the audio in here nine volts and a speaker out works perfectly but I'm gonna try this out today on my cell phone um, I'm gonna hook it up to my cell phone and we'll check my voicemail and uh, see if I got any messages. So like I said, um, it's, it runs on nine volts. So I got a nine volt power supply right here. I'm gonna pop the, pop the power in, it's powered up. 
and then the speaker output is right over here there's two pins and I'm gonna plug my speaker into those two pins all right I'm gonna put that right here I gotta get this over here so you can see it now I got my cell phone right here I'm gonna plug that in all right we're ready to go let's call my voicemail and see if I got any mail in there hopefully I do because <laughs> this isn't gonna work out too well uh, let's go voicemail right there please enter your pin number followed by the pound key Welcome to your U.S. Cellular voicemail. You have one new message. First new message received today at 1.55 p.m. Hey, Gary. This is Craig from NASA. I just got my order from DIY Electronics. Just want to let you know that everything works out fine. The, all of the parts and everything fit right into the shuttle just like you said they would. I appreciate it, buddy. Have a good day. Bye. Wow. Wasn't that awesome of Craig to leave me a little note like that? I appreciate it, Craig. Hopefully you're watching the uh, watching the show here. Um, oh, man, that's that's awesome. My, my parts are going up into space from DIY Electronics. Do you believe it? I do. All right, guys. Anyways, that is the demonstration on the miniature LM386 audio amplifier it works really well if you have just you know real low audio needs and you want it in a compact design too this is great for field days and stuff like that to you know bring it out in the field with you um, for working your uh, you know working on the pixie on your code all right guys any questions comments leave it down below and also um, this is part of my uh, winter giveaway so if you want this exact kit that I built um, somewhere in the video, there's going to be two numbers pop up. And if you guess the right number between those two numbers, including those two numbers, okay, if you guess the right number, you win. And I'm going to ship this to you for free, absolutely free. All right, guys. And uh, as of right now, the first one I put out there, the contest ends on March 1st. And if nobody gets it, I'm going to, um, there's going to be a, a, a quick little contest, not contest, but giveaway type thing. Um, I really haven't decided what I'm going to do, but I'm going to give it away to somebody. Somebody's going to get this. All right, ring the bell, subscribe, uh, like, that's the other one. And it's all about you. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching.